If Sandra Bullock wasn't an actress, she'd be an architect. She said, since being an actress wasn't something I thought I would be allowed to do past a certain time, every penny I made, I would invest into real estate. Since she didn't become an architect, she still pursued that private passion for design all of these years. Sandra would flip homes back to life as her lifelong hobby and has said, each place is different and each place has its own history and memories layered into it. Sandra has built an impressive real estate portfolio with several homes from a Gothic Victorian Victorian mansion in New Orleans to a compound in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. She also maintains properties all over Los Angeles, including her main Tudor style mansion, which she purchased back in 2011. Because everyone, even Sandra Bullock, needs a home base. While Sandra Bullock maintains a huge real estate portfolio, she has a tendency to sell quite a few of those properties too. At the end of 2022, she had listed one of her California homes, a stunning 6,000 square foot ranch in San Diego County. While she was asking $6 million for the home, she ended up selling it for the final price of $5.6 million in December 2022. Tucked away from busy Los Angeles, this sprawling property sat on a 91 acre lot surrounded by mountains and palm trees. Privacy was one of the major selling points of this place, as well as the potential to expand and build more structures or gardens in the large lot. Not to mention the new homeowners will have easy access to avocado and citrus trees that grow on the property, as well as a chicken coop. This spacious ranch is built in a hacienda style and the main home boasts four beds and six baths, while elsewhere on the property, there's a guest house, which is ideal for when your family or friends decide to stay over. There are sets of French doors inside the home that open right out to the stunning courtyard, which is made picture perfect thanks to climbing ivy on the walls, as well as a dramatic fountain that serves as the focal point. The kitchen in Sandra's former home was country style and offered only the best cooking equipment, including an upscale La Cornu range. There was also a vaulted ceiling in this space, skylights overhead, and clear glass pendant lights. While there's plenty of space to eat indoors, if that's not your thing, you can always eat al fresco where there's an outdoor dining area and a large fireplace. The spacious main living area inside the home boasted hardwood floors underfoot as well as a rotunda style ceiling and features like a wet bar, dining table, and built-in banquette. The master suite in this home has its own easy access to the yard as well as a cozy sitting area with fireplace and a soaring ceiling overhead. While the endless interior features of Sandra's former home were impressive, the private backyard might be even more so. Out back, the grounds offered an oasis style saltwater pool and hot tub located near the dining and lounging areas. With all the patio space and furnishings, it was the ideal setting to entertain or simply relax while taking in mountain views. Like most A-listers, you already know Sandra owns an impressive residence in Beverly Hills. Purchased in 2011 following her split from Jesse James, she put down over $16 million for this Tudor style mansion situated on 4.1 acres of land in the west end of the posh neighborhood. The estate features an 8,110 square foot main house, a screening room, a poolside pavilion, and a detached garage. This stately home is fronted with a long gated driveway and stone exteriors. Inside, the mansion boasts a total of seven bedrooms and eight baths over two and a half levels, while Sandra's master suite is massive, complete with a sitting room, fireplace, and dual bathrooms. Also in the home, there's a grand living room with fireplace, panel dining room, with yet another fireplace and an eat-in kitchen. There is even a library, office, home gym, and bonus staff quarters, all of which are kept private with a top-notch security system. From Sandra's property, you can also enjoy amazing views from downtown LA to the ocean. The movie theater is located elsewhere on the property, along with the poolside pavilion with bed and bath. Of course, to go with that pavilion, there's also a swimming pool and spa on the grounds. While the actress calls this Tudor mansion her main home. She purchased another LA area estate in 2021, which is thought to be an investment property. In what was reportedly Sandra's 17th home purchase, Sandra spent $2.7 million on a modest Beverly Hills property in 2021, which would be an investment. Sandra purchased this 2,800 square foot abode with the intention of renting it out. And while the price she rents it at is unknown, some of her other rental properties start at $15,000 a night and can go up to a whopping $42,000 a month. I don't know what you'd pay $15,000 a night for, or maybe it meant $15,000 a month. I don't know. But this 1946 built residence sits on under half an acre of land with a white brick and plaster exterior. Inside, there are three beds and 3.5 baths, along with details like a ton of windows and vaulted ceilings. There are also dark concrete.
concrete floors throughout the home, as well as French doors and skylights to lighten up the place. In the main living room, you'll find a fireplace, as well as a stunning reading nook set into a window, while the French doors here open to the yard. The kitchen, on the other hand, offers a lot of cabinet and counter space, as well as an industrial style range and stylish appliances, while another nearby living area features another fireplace and triplet French doors popped by semicircle windows. The master suite at this property boasts a fireplace, a large window situated in an alcove, and a fancy marble ensuite. Inside the home, there are a few quirky touches though, including a red themed library, boasting a red acrylic chandelier, red pattern drapes, and red leather furniture. Furthermore, the listing photos from the time of purchase showed zebra print furniture and acrylic chandeliers that are a throwback to the mid-2000s. But is it weird that I don't totally hate it? Out back there's a stone lined swimming pool with three level waterfall and lush landscaping, including a stunning garden. Okay, now for what's my favorite. Sandra's New Orleans home, an 1876 Gothic Victorian mansion she purchased in 2009. The stunning and historic home is known as the Coche Maze House and the Swiss Chalet House, among other nicknames. And this place cost the actress $2.24 million. There are many period features through the 7,544 square foot home, including detailed ironwork, gilded interiors, carved columns and mantles, and more. The home boasts five beds, 4.5 baths, and a sprawling grand entry foyer, which stretches 41 feet from front to back with shimmering wood floors. The main level of the three-story structure includes a parlor, ballroom, and a dining room, all with 14-foot ceilings. While nearby, there's also a cozy den with deep wine-colored walls and a modest kitchen. Most of the rooms also have glamorous chandeliers and there are plenty of fireplaces with carved marble mantles throughout. The grounds of Sandra's Victorian abode offer elegant gardens, a large lawn, and even a swimming pool surrounded by terraces. If you didn't know, the actress has a soft spot for New Orleans since it's where her adopted son Louis was born in 2010 and Sandra's adopted daughter is also from Louisiana. While Sandra Bullock owns a whole host of other properties, including a couple in the exclusive Malibu area and even one in Wyoming, it would take a very long time to go through them all. So for today, that will wrap up this house tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. If you had your very own library in your house, how would you style it? Would you pick some red leather like the one that she had? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I will see you all in another video. Bye!